You looking for some Apple news today? I got you covered. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have about 10 or 12 different Apple related stories about their products and services and all the crazy stories going around it, plus my crazy views. So if you wanna hear all that stuff, subscribe and watch this video. I'm gonna go through all 12 stories in a second. There might be a few more. I sometimes get off tangents and I throw a couple more in there, so you never know. One thing to note too, this was the first company, real computer company with an A in its name, my favorite, Atari. One day they'll be back, but for now I gotta do Apple news. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, the very first two stories are gonna be straightforward. They're gonna be just specials on Apple products that you can buy right now. So if you look at my screen over here, $21.99, this is a 14.2 inch MacBook Pro. What makes this so special? Well, it's got the 12 core CPU, 19 core GPU, standard obviously, 16 gigs of RAM, standard but it has a one terabyte SSD. So this is actually about, what is it? Two or 300 bucks off right now. It used to be 24.99, now it's 21.99. Really good deal on that. So I like to showcase these little upper tier deals as well. And then another upper tier deal is if you were looking at the 16 inch, what that bigger screen, a MacBook Pro, this is the 16.2 inch. It's the standard, it's got um, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, so it's kind of the base metal. But you can pick that up now. And so it used to be 24.99, now it's 22.49. So you're picking that up for you know, whatever, 250 bucks off right on Amazon. I'll have links to this stuff on Amazon, but definitely, you know, if you're looking for this, use this as the low price point, and it might even get lower around Christmas. All right, the next story is actually really good news. It says right here, Apple's already testing an M3 Mac Mini with 24 gigs of RAM. So what makes that interesting? If you scroll down, it says right here, the test unit matches the configuration of maxed out M2. So it's gonna be eight CPU cores, um, four performance, four efficiency cores, 10 GPU cores, and 24 gigs of RAM. And that's gonna be in the M3 chip. So what makes this so exciting is down here, you know, you can read about it, but Gurman, Mark Gurman, who's usually right or wrong, just like I always am. But anyways, he had mentioned a bunch of different things getting the M3 chip coming up. Now they're testing the Mac Mini. That wasn't really on the list. They didn't know if that was gonna be one of them. So it looks like it's confirmed that it might be coming later this year. And anyways, it's kind of a cool configuration with 24 gigs of RAM. We're gonna see what the cost is on this. It's probably gonna be around the same though. But it's good news that this is coming, and it's coming fast. So if you want an M3 with the Mac Mini, we're getting close. All right, the next story, it says AirPods 3 now available at a reduced price to Apple's official refurbished store. So Apple Refurbish is now selling the AirPods 3 right here. And you can see it says it's $30 off for $149 at the Apple Refurbished store. But I have a question for you. I would buy a used laptop. I've done it many times. Watch, watch my last video. I've bought used, this was a refurbished unit for Mac, you know, as well, Apple. But would you buy refurbished ear pods or ear, ugh, it kind of grosses me out, right? Were they worn by somebody else? Are they brand new? I have no idea. I'm guessing they put new housings on them and everything else, but who, ugh, I just don't know. Would you buy one? Put in the comments. I, I think I'd pay the extra 30. All right, so the next story is from Macworld. It says early M3 Max MacBook Pro testing reveals an absolute beast of a machine. It says right here that it come, they're testing it with 16 core CPU. 80 GPU cores, which is crazy, and 48 gigs of RAM. So why is this interesting? If you look down here, it says Apple's test chip had 48 gigs of RAM, which is an interesting number. The M2 Max, which is available right now, came in 3264, 96 gigs of RAM. A 48 gigabyte figure, it says, suggests that the M3 Max will be available in 48, 96, or 144. So 48 could be the lowest amount of RAM it comes with, which is crazy. That's kind of a beast, again. If you're looking for 40 GPU cores and all that kind of stuff, I just wonder how much it's gonna be, but that's gonna be a great editing machine. All right, the next story is interesting to me only because of a couple different reasons and I'll get into that. So if you look over here, it says Savault, I guess that's how you say it, debuts new heatsink cooling for the iMac, for the MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro. And I guess they can get hot and there's a place where the, you know, all the heat kind of builds up on that unit. So they built this dock here and it's got a really nice kind of copper or metal heat sink that's built into it. It's supposed to dissipate the heat over. So in theory, if you're just docking it like this in kind of a clamshell, it seems like a good idea, right? Well, I went to the website over here and then I started looking at it. It's $279, right? And I was kind of peeking at some of the pictures in here and I couldn't find any other ports on here. I mean, I see the copper. I see the copper in there. I believe it's copper. I see the heat sink. I see all that stuff. But I was thinking it might have an SSD in there, or some Thunderbolt ports or something. If this is just a big piece of copper or metal, basically, for $249, I mean, what do you think? I just think at that point, I'm just gonna let it burn up. All right, the next story again is funny too. It's kind of Apple related. It says, GM wasn't kidding. Even the 103K, $130,000 Escalade IQ won't have CarPlay. 
So as you know, GM's getting rid of Apple CarPlay for some reason, across almost all their lines, including Cadillac. So here they're saying this car is going to be their new EV and it's going to be one of the most sought after cars and everything, but it's not going to have Apple CarPlay because GM wants to go down their own route. I've talked about this before, and this is going to tie into the next story, but this is super interesting. Even on their highest, you know, highest metal cars, they're not going to offer it. And the reason that's so concerning is because if we look at this story, it says the next generation of CarPlay is launching this year. Here's everything we know. So I was kind of reading through this. It's going to have an all new design, first of all. You can see it right here. So it's going to, they're going to completely redesign it. It's going to have a lot more features. You can see it right here. It looks completely different for the most part. A little bit different, I guess. They got the split screen going. But the cool thing about this is it says CarPlay has fundamentally changed the way people interact with vehicles, obviously. Now, what they're going to be doing is they're going to have deeper integration with cars, which is awesome, right? So I showed you an article a while back how Porsche, you know, used CarPlay so that you could kind of change the temperatures or the heating on the seats and stuff. And that's what it's saying. It's saying it's going to have integration into the individual car models. And you can see it might show up on, on your dash instead of just the little module on, you know, where you look at, turn the radio on and stuff. It might be in the front of you instead. They might be programming a whole bunch of different things into it. Like, again, here's heating your seats, you know, like steering wheel heating and stuff like that. So if the car can talk to it, then you can actually have, an, you know, the dials and then also have the screen where you can change your settings on your car. Super, super interesting, right? says it's going to be design customization. They're going to allow each car to, to kind of customize the design of it. So Porsche will have a different look than the other ones. So why is Cadillac going away from this or GM when this is all happening? And then they list down here, if I kind of scroll down, well, here's one more screen you can see just to kind of show you some of the way it looks. But if I scroll down here, these are the cars, I guess, that are on board right now. Land Rover, Mercedes, Lincoln, Audi, Volvo, Honda, Porsche, Nissan, Ford, Jaguar, Acura, Polster, Affinity, and Renault. So it doesn't have GM in there. And if you're looking for CarPlay and this kind of custom ability, is that even a word? Anyways, then uh, you're going to be out of luck if you're getting a GM. All right, the next story. This is a Apple. If, if you have an Apple Watch and you like something that's a little bit different, you can buy now a glow-in-the-dark sports band, I guess. See it right here? You can see a picture of it. It's white when it's not in the, in the dark, and then it turns this kind of green glowing color. I guess it's good for joggers, right? I was thinking, why is this good? Again, you're going to have that kind of Apple price tag again. So it says it's 100% waterproof. Also, but then I looked out here, $60 for that band. I can buy one on Timu for about $3. So it better save my life a few times to kind of justify that cost. The next few stories are going to be about the iPhone. So if you look at this article, it says right here, the A17 chip is confirmed for basically the iPhone 15 Pro, but the A16 chip is for the iPhone 15. So if you're gonna get the iPhone 15 Pro, you're gonna get the A17 chip. If you're gonna go with the lower model, you're only gonna get the A16 chip. So they're gonna kind of separate the different chips you're getting. I think it's one of the first times they're doing this where you're gonna get the faster chip on the Pro, and I believe the Max model as well, but you're not gonna get them on the lower models. All right, and then if you actually do upgrade to that kind of higher tier, it says iPhone 15 Pro rumored to have, or to feature six gigs of RAM and one extra GPU core. So I don't know how much of a difference this is going to make, but I guess it went up from five gigabytes to six. Now, again, there's other phones out there, especially on the Android side that have eight gigs, 16 gigs of RAM. Apple does a better job, obviously, of managing the RAM, but it's only one gig. So I don't know if that's a huge upgrade. And then one extra GPU core as well. I don't know about that as well either. So we'll see how that does if performance gets much better, but I don't need much better performance on my phone to tell you the truth. It does everything I need it to. All right, and then finally to wrap up this iPhone stuff, it says over here, images of alleged iPhone 15 have a USB connector, parts leaked online. This is by Mac Rumors as well. You can see the picture right there. So it looks like it's finally coming on the iPhone 15. We don't know for sure, but if it does, it'll finally get past the lightning connector and everything will be through that USB-C connector, which is gonna make things a lot easier. All right, this next article is kind of funny as well. So it says more than 10 billion deposited in Apple card saving accounts. So I guess it's really, you know, it's done really well, right? $10 billion already in Apple savings accounts. It also says you can get up to, I think it's 4.15, what is it, APY, so your interest rate. There's better ones out there. Um, you know, you could definitely find them, I think, up to 5% now. So this is not one of the, it's not the best, let's just put it that way, but it's, it's pretty high. So it's got all this money coming in. And then I was kind of reading through the article, and it says, you know, Apple and Goldman Sachs have worked together on Apple Card since 2019. But then this article goes on to say, but Goldman Sachs wants to abandon the deal because it is not making enough money and it has trouble dealing with customer service issues. So I guess they're not making enough money. They're making a lot of money, but not enough. And they don't want to deal with all the Apple customers. So they got $10 billion in their accounts and they just see that it's just not worth it to them. So how much are these banks actually making where 
I know it's got to be hundreds of millions of dollars and it's still not worth it to them. And including working with Apple, one of the biggest companies in the world, you tell me, have banks gotten out of hand? All right, so we got some new features also coming to, it says the AirPods Pro 2. So if you look over here, this is going to be an article from 9to5Mac. It says it has adaptive audio. So it says it currently has three models of noise control, noise cancellation, and all this other stuff. But it has adaptive audio. And it says right here, adaptive mode dynamically blends transparency mode and active noise cancellation together based on the conditions of the user's environment to deliver the best experience at the moment. So that's one thing. It also has conversation awareness. So if you're talking to somebody, it's going to be able to kind of pick that up. If you speak with con con conversation awareness turned on, it'll be able to automatically lower the volume and enhance the voices of people speaking in front of you. While this is happening, conversation awareness will actively reduce background noise behind you. So that's another controlled feature. It's got mute or unmute as well. So it's got a whole bunch of different new features coming out that are built into it. But a lot of times due to kind of the noise cancellation, just dialing it in. So they're going to be better. And, uh, you know, I don't use, to me, I, you know, when I'm talking to people, I'm not totally like sensitive to that kind of stuff. I know it's nice for airplanes and stuff, but it's not going to make a lot of difference to me. But I know a lot of people out there might. All right. The next story is not really Apple related. But it says, Netflix just released its game controller app for iPhone and iPad. Wait a second. It is Apple related. Um, anyways, but it is Netflix. So here it is. It says it's just released this kind of new game controller app. And you can see it down here. So what this basically is, is Netflix, believe it or not, and this is from 9to5Mac, is coming out with this new gaming. You know, lot, They're going to be adding a lot more games instead of just movie watching and stuff. Kind of compete in the market. And they have this app now you can download. It says it's going to pair with your TV so you can play games on Netflix. I don't know how good that's going to be, especially if you look at this this app here. I mean, how this is going to look. I don't even know what I'm looking at, to tell you the truth. But I don't think it's going to be like a real controller. So it must be very, very simple games, right? You tell me. I don't know if that's going to work really well. I'm guessing that's on your phone or something. I don't know. I just don't see how that's going to be the best kind of experience, especially how, how far everything is on the iPad over here. Anyways, you get the idea. If you're interested in gaming, this is another option. All right, this is kind of interesting. So Apple, how did they do in quarter three, it says? So if you look down here, let's go over a couple things. It says right here, the revenue change, you can see, now this is by this is by 9 to 5 Mac, and this is called Six Colors, I guess, that did these graphs. I'm going to give them credit. So that actually says source, Apple disclosures, actually. So there you go. But anyways, it says year over year total revenue change. If you can see here, Apple's down 1%, so that's pretty, pretty crazy, right? We always thought that they're going to be going up, but this is just the total. They're still making tons of money, but they're down 1%, but they were down 5% in 2023, the first quarter. So it's, they're moving the right direction. You can see it trending up. So if you go down here, hardware revenue. So this is kind of like um, Mac revenue right here. Mac revenue was way down and then it came, now it's down 7% uh, from what it was a couple years ago. You can see these other, over you know, over here, they had some really big years, up 70%. And this was quarter two of 2021. So during the pandemic and stuff. So this kind of is kind of working its way back up, I guess, too. It's up just negative 7% now. And then over here, it says iPad. Again, we see all the kind of during the COVID years, it's really good. And then it's kind of doing really bad right now, right? Down 20%. So I don't know. But then the interesting thing here is it says year over year iPhone also is still down 2% also. And you can see here is during the kind of the COVID time. So that's interesting to me. So all these are down, right? Well, what's so interesting about this is they don't show the services revenue, right? So where is all this money? If Apple's only down 1% and all these other categories are down 7 and 20 and 2 and, and all these other percentages, how are they only down 1%? services. You can see services here. It's this purple category. And this actually makes up a pretty big percentage of the revenue. So the next article is even more important. It says Apple surpasses 1 billion paid subscriptions as active devices are double that. So Apple's got 1 billion paid subscriptions now, which is crazy. And it makes me sad because everything's going subscription-based, right? I've heard car companies are going to be putting safety features in description, subscriptions, which is nuts to me. I mean, you, you have to pay for your safety. Now every company out there, I mean, are you going to be leasing the computers next? They're just going to be leasing them to you as a subscription? Are you going to be able to buy anything in the future? So Apple, all the money's going this way, and they see the kind of the, the writings on the wall. They can make so much money with subscriptions. It's a non-going revenue source for them. And here they are at $1 billion and growing like you wouldn't believe. And we see the revenue going down from hardware, and that kind of worries me, right? Because is this the kind of the wave of the future? I mean, everything's going this way. And, uh, you know, cars are even almost a subscription now because they're going up to like 84 months or, you know, 100 months or something as far as your, you know, term on your, your loan and stuff. So overall, I think this is a problem. You tell me, am I kind of being a little crazy here or are you worried about this also? All right, so we're going to wrap this up. I hope these news stories are great for you. And I also hope that you're okay with my crazy analysis of them. Anyways, 
one day I'm going to be doing reviews on this, but for now I got to do Apple. So subscribe if you can. I'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.